was not a Roman holiday, that bloody February the 14th. It was St. Valentine's Day. <coughs> and this was your Valentine for Ralph D. No! Oh, I object to the message used by the of Bring the water quickly. The court will take a 15 minutes recess. Father, isn't he marvelous? He made us faint. Come on. Now listen, get that as soon as possible. Have it set up and brought into court just before Nora Dean's called to the stand. Don't let anyone stop you. That is done. Okay. Well, what are you framing now? A little surprise for Nora. The stage is all set. You know, if I was defending that dame, she'd be free tonight. I wish you were defending her. I wouldn't put her on the stand at all. Create a reasonable doubt, it'd be a cinch. Oh, what difference does it make? She is a murderer anyway. Oh, but Tom, how can you send a woman to the gallows? I don't do that, darling. The jury does that. The rope for her and the governor's chair for you. You were magnificent. Congratulations. This case is making you a national figure. Thanks. <coughs> there seems to be a slight difference of opinion about that. Oh, Mr. Cardigan, may I introduce Signor Alvarado? Oh, I... You know, the tenor. Oh, the tenor. Father, aren't you going to invite him to dinner? Well, apparently you're invited to dinner. <laughs> Delighted. <laughs> Tonight. Tonight? Thanks very much. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't sing, you know. Oh. He won't be there. Oh, that's tough. I'll miss him. The judge is coming in, Mr. Cardigan. Oh, let's hurry. We mustn't miss a thing. Well, good luck, Cardigan. Thank you, sir. Don't forget tonight. I won't. That girl's a great catch for somebody who has his eye on politics, eh, Toby lad? Hmm. Oh, Miss Perry. Could I help you find a seat in the courtroom? No, thank you. Help Tommy Lad find a governor's chair. She saw about something. Was it me? 